Hello everyone, this is Atiya from Manager Speaking and yes, we are continuing our series on how to make videos on your games and today we are going to talk about what you typically need for making videos alright, and uh, without further ado, let me just get on to it but before I actually begin uh, well, I'd like to uh, share with you a game that I prefer to you know, discuss about this topic at my forums and not on comments because I prefer no people not asking me again and again how to make videos on games all right on your games and so uh yep yeah, um uh my description below will show you where you can actually get to my forum and register feel free to discuss on, on uh, with me on this subject and let me just get on to my little presentation all right uh yeah all right what do you really need for making videos you, number one you need a screen casting tool and Many people will just ask, I want a free one, all right, a free web, uh, a free screencasting tool that I can use uh, so that, you know, because I'm a student, I want it cheap. Uh, basically, uh, the good ones that you have, the good videos especially, that you've been watching on video or uh, on YouTube, yeah, uh, they are using paid tools, really. Camstasia, you no, know, Fraps, you name it, they are using professional tools and, uh, if you can please invest on a good screencasting tool myself i have not invested into a good screencasting tool yet i did but uh i bought fraps but um fraps isn't really really worth it let me just show you here quick, quick what's fraps all right fraps is a real-time video capture and benchmarking now it's a very strong and powerful software to screencast your games but it one minute of fraps costs you about three gigabytes of data so if you count the math the count the math all right uh 10 minutes will be 30 gigabytes and that is huge moreover you need to compress them into two gigabyte format so that you can upload to youtube and it's going to take a lot of time and because for football manager 2010 and i believe for future series as well uh i do not need this because uh full manager by right is a very lightweight game all right. Uh, they are only very heavy on database, but you can run Full Manager two zero one zero, or I believe two zero one one can be run on Windows mode. And if you can run your games on Windows mode, typically it's not very heavy. All right, <laughs> it's not so heavy in the in 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 data processing that you actually need Fraps. Now Fraps is better at uh games like StarCraft two. All right, games like Modern Warfare, and they give you high quality footages all right you will never you know uh just you, you you it just beats all competition all right and yeah fraps is the way to go if for heavy duty stuff but for full manager uh, i do not think that it's just worth it 30 gigabytes especially i can run on windows mode all right uh but if you are looking for free tools uh all right i'm using actually a free tool one of them is windows expression pro uh you can just check out my previous video on that let me not waste time on talking about that but another one is these web-based screen casting tools like Screen Toaster. Now, uh, they are running on Java, okay, and they actually screencast the your monitor. And I believe you can play your game while screencasting. But with everything that is free, of course, there's some drawbacks. What do I mean by that? Their quality isn't very good, so they cannot pick up details well. Screen Toaster. The other one is Live Stream. All right. Let me just show you live stream real quick. Yes, uh, live stream uh, allows you to stream your food games online, and you can get to keep them. Yeah, uh, as part of your library, and you also get to. Uh, oops, say excuse me, <laughs> because they run uh, you know, live videos on, on there. Anyway, uh, they also allow you to uh, to to keep your you no. Know, recorded videos into a library and you can you can actually upload them into YouTube I believe all right so live stream is another free web based um, tool that you can use to screencast your games on video and uh, just a caution that if you use these tools um, the free ones they usually chuck out a lot of processing power of your computer because they're running on Java all right especially if you're playing Football Manager 2010 uh, to draw on one, uh, they choke out a lot of processing power, and sometimes your computer might hang if it's not up to task. 
So just take note of that and my advice get a uh, 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 professional and paid screencasting tool if you can afford it. Alright, I'm looking forward to it uh, myself, uh, but for, for the meanwhile, I'm just saving up money for just a good tool. Now if you want, you can free, free, feel free to donate to my course. <laughs> Yeah, let's move on about uh, from the screencasting tool. Next, we want to talk about a microphone. All right, get the directional microphones instead of the omnidirectional ones because omnidirectional microphones usually pick up all kinds of sound. All right, and I'm not using a very good microphone here. You can tell. Uh, another thing that uh, the better the quality of microphone, of course, is the better the pickup of the sounds and audio from your voice. So just see if you can actually invest on that. Next, you need lots of hard disk space. Yes, videos are not cheap in space. And so, yeah, I needed a external 500 gigabyte hard disk just for videos, all right? Now, optional but useful stuff. Let me just share with you, video editor and audio recorder. Now, these two comes in hand uh, because Football Manager 201 is actually allowing players to upload their videos on YouTube. Alright, uh, if you can do that, means you can actually video edit your the videos on game uh, from your game engine, and I believe you can actually uh, do a voice over your video with a audio editor and recorder. Alright, these two work hand in hand, and uh, I do not have any recommendations on video recorders and editors. Uh, maybe you can use uh, Adobe After Effects, but all these you no know, tools that I know are expensive tools. <laughs> So I'm not so sure with the free ones and uh, if you have any advice on free ones, feel free to discuss with me, alright? Put it down on my forums and really if forums are not the way to go for you, uh, comments will do, uh, okay? Now thirdly, uh, this is actually quite important and that's why it's highlighted in red. <laughs> a, monitor, a, a monitor that supports uh, 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels. Now what does this little uh, phrase mean? It means the screen size that your computer can support, all right? The amount of resolution and 1920 pixels by 1080 is the optimal for high quality, high definition videos, all right? And you can see that I'm running not on 1920 by 1080. I'm just running one tier below that, 1280 by 720. And it makes a difference, really. It does uh, because you can see that I can only capture part of my monitor not the whole screen of my monitor because you want your YouTube videos to look aligned and decent on YouTube anywhere out of this ratio out of this 4 by 3 ratio or 16 by 9 ratio okay it kills the video totally you might see like uh, everybody will be stretched awkwardly and yeah the video will not be nice and so just take note of this resolution if you want if not you can go uh, a lower tier to that that will be 1280 by 720 pixels all right for resolutions and last but not least a great sound card uh really i'm really really looking into it, this because my current sound card is really really poor the sounds that are actually um trying to pipe through and try to record are really really soft and so uh, it's just a liability that i'm trying to overcome Alright, uh, this is about all the tools that you might need. Now, if I miss out anything, you can just let me know via my forums. Alright, please. And uh, I'll be happy to learn from you as well. And any techniques, uh, alright, just share with me. And I'm really, really appreciative of your input. That's all for this video. I'll be showcasing more stuff. And yes, like I've said, uh, Football Manager 201 is coming out on Thursday for their demo not the real game yet <laughs> for demo and be sure to check out my channel and my blog very very soon alright uh, you can check them out at footballmanagersite.com and that's for my blog and for my YouTube channel LTR Football Manager alright that's all and I'll see you guys later